so these are the main three so these are the three main open source tools we worked on or we built this summer for the workshop other open source tools include a very small honey extractor which steps onto the heat gun and of course the tractor itself which is a fully open source bolted together tractor the frame all bolted together hardly any welds we welded up the tracks for the wheels well bent bent the rebar one inch rebar we bent it in our shop press um, welded them all together to the chain strapped it on thing turns like a tank um, it's powered by hydraulics off the power cube at the back <coughs> the hydraulics are on quick attach plates so if one motor busts it's simply unbolt two probably see it better on this side unbolt two bolts this one and one the other side of the coupler down there the motor comes off quick couplers here simply unplug and change the motor in the case of it breaking the same with every other component giving it what we call lifetime design for disassembly which means it's designed to be disassembled as the statement says and lifetime design if anything breaks it's very cheap to fix by simply buying a new part off shelf as all the parts are off shelf parts so buying a new part and unscrewing the necessary bolts bolting it back together this is the power cube on the back this is an old one I'm going to review the new one I built uh, after this clip <coughs> the hydraulics from the valve that controls you know left and right side come uh, powered by the hydraulic pump which is under here that's 12 gallons per minute hydraulic pump which is attached to the bottom of the motor the motor is attached to this little in this frame which we call the which is a cube which we call a power cube hence power cube the hydraulic fluid is stored in there pumps drives the whole thing the valves quick connect the valve is mounted this motor spool valve, these motor spool valves are mounted to this plate here the plate is quick connect simply undo one bolt take all the attachments off and you can replace the valve or take it off and use it somewhere else if needed uh, there's another another spool that fits on there that's the one that I've got connected up to the shop press at the moment sorry not the shop press the uh, drill press at the moment so this one simply you can see here the nut welded on that just goes onto there it connects up there connects up to that connection that connection comes out connects directly onto that one side by side screws into the hole there it's all very modular quick assembly disassembly very practical